been 12 months since we bought the Ranger Raptor. Time has just gone so fast. We've already racked up 50,000 Ks on the big girl. Running this harsh driveway every day, running uh, the kids to school. So, Mrs. has put a lot of kilometers on the truck. But today I'm gonna give you a one year 50,000 K review. Everything that's gone wrong, everything that's gone right, why we love it, some things we don't like about it. And yeah, so that way you guys can get a wide perspective after someone's owned it for 12 months and, and my current thoughts on the truck. So we purchased the Ranger Raptor basically as an everyday daily vehicle um, to run the kids to school, um, just do running around, stuff like that. It was never the intentions of building this thing up to be like a tourer or for camping or anything like that. It was strictly just a daily truck, just a cool truck, just to run around during the day and pick things up and whatnot, groceries, all that sort of jazz. So the missus before this, we had a Jeep Wrangler and that was the biggest piece of crap that vehicle that I've ever seen. Like they're nice to look at, but the thing was just falling apart. It just, this just this driveway just destroyed it. I was re-welding brackets and stuff under the suspension, probably about three or four times we re-welded some brackets and stuff under there just from it breaking from driving this road, so. I'm gonna give you today my thoughts on the Raptor after it running this harsh driveway for 12 months. And to say the least, it's handled it like a dream. The only issue that we've ever had was one bracket breaking on a EGR cooler line. So that was pretty much it. That's the only drama we've had. If you've watched my past videos, there was a ticking sound coming from the rear. That ended up being a foreign piece of metal inside the tire between the tire and the rim and it was just spinning around with the tire and sometimes it would fall from the tire hit the rim and make that tinging sound that's why it was so sporadic um, so can't really blame Ford for that but um yeah so the only issue we had was a bracket that cracked on a cooler line for the EGR that's been the only issue we've had with the truck so far um, there's no squeaking coming from the truck from any of the suspension components after running this road so this road's about 10 kilometers and it's dirt gravel potholes all the rest of it and my missus goes in and out every single day running our daughter to school it's it's i think it's close i think she said it's like 30 k's down 30 k's back 30 k's down 30 k's back each day so there's a fair few kilometers on this road so over the 12 months we have done some mods to the truck um, we've put new tires on it We've put new rims on it. Um, we've wrapped the roof as well. Uh, we've added another thing, but I'm not gonna tell you what that is just yet because there's a video coming out in about two weeks regarding that. So I'll keep that a secret. There's another modification that we've already done. So um, other than that, the truck's been, the, the truck has been really good and really happy with it. We've taken it to get serviced. Um, every time it's been due, every like 10,000 or whatever it is, um, whenever the service is due, so. It's just had its 50,000 kilometer service done, um, probably about two weeks ago. But yeah, it's, it's been a really good truck. So I'm gonna run through some of the 
cons first. We'll do the cons first, and then I'll go through some of the positives while we like the truck. And yeah, so let's let's take a walk around it. Right, uh, so the uh, the new gimbal that I've got's going wonders. Takes all the uh, my shakiness out of the videos. So. Right, uh, let's go over some of the cons. So with the Raptor, I think one con would be storage. I think that's one con. There's not a lot of storage inside the truck the way it is. There's a little bit under the back seat, but I think Ford could have done a better job of having more storage. But in saying that, the thing about having storage is then you put stuff in there. If you're going to run the truck rough and jump it and all the rest of it, things going to rattle around and carry on. So it's probably a good thing there's not a lot of storage in it. But just for things like compressor hoses and um, deflation kits and tire punch repair kits and just little things like that that you want to you want to carry under the back seat or something just for those times that something may go wrong con number two well it's probably not a con but this engine it's a good engine um, I wish it was a v6 twin turbo I mentioned that in the past videos a lot more fun factor having a petrol twin turbo I think they should have stuck a barrel engine in it or something like that I think that would have been bloody awesome but anyway, the two liter, it's been a great engine. No issues other than that EGR cooler pipe that broke down the back um, near the firewall. So it was just the bracket, it wasn't the hose or anything. It was just the bracket cracked and they just replaced the hose and stuff. And it's been fine ever since I've been checking it. So it's been good ever since they replaced that. I think that was at about 40,000 Ks, about 10,000 Ks ago they replaced that. So it's been all good. So some people might see it as a con, but it's tow capacity. It's payload, they're not very big, like it's tow capacity is only two and a half ton. But just remember that this truck is a lifestyle truck. It's not some big towing bloody thing to go and tow a three and a half ton caravan. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed to just be a lifestyle truck, have fun on the weekends, tow your jet ski, stick your dirt bikes in the back of it, tow a, a camper trailer, like a two ton camper trailer, Things like that, that's what it's designed for. It's not designed to tow big caravans, big boats and stuff like that. If you'd like to do that sort of stuff, I'd just buy a normal Ranger, um, yeah, with either the two litre or the uh, 3.2 litre engine. So with your three and a half tonne towing capacity. So the tires that come on, the KM2s in the all terrains, they're okay, they are very slippery in the wet and a lot of people have said that um, on roads, they are very slippery. So we just let them wear out, we were going to change them anyway because we did want to put a set of methods on the truck. So we ended up going with the KM3 in the mud terrain. I've got them on the F250 and they've been absolutely fantastic. So, And they've been awesome on this as well. Heaps more grip in the wet. Um, noise factor, don't really notice it at all. There's, there's no noise factor going down the highway. Um, hasn't really changed anything like that. Performance wise, putting the bigger tyres, look there may be a slight difference but nothing that I've noticed so no issues there with performance wise going to the bigger tyre um, it doesn't hit anywhere so if you're looking to put 35s on your your Ranger Raptor um, with stock suspension it's not going to hit so you can do that so I don't get asked in the comments <laughs> these are Con 6 so they're a um, I forget what they are they're a 315-70R17 is the tyre, and then the yeah the rims are 17 inch um, by nines, so 17 by nines in the Con 6 in the uh, black Method Race wheels. So in case you want to know about the wheels, that's what they are. So I'm just trying to think of some more cons with this truck. I'd say another con would probably be the passenger seat. It's still just old school slides back and forth with the front bar it's not electronic like the driver's seat is so there's a bit of a con um, yeah for buying this truck for a daily driver like we did there's not too many negatives that I can think of that's probably that's probably about it um, we'll start going over some of the positives now so one of the positives I know I said the engine was a negative but it's also a positive um, only uses jack shit fuel um, the bi turbo has been a good engine the only issue we had like I mentioned was the bracket that broke on the EGR cooler line um, other than that yeah nothing to 
nothing to say about it. It's been a good engine, so props to Ford on that. Um, another pro would be the suspension. So when you buy this, you don't have to run out and uh, upgrade your suspension and stuff like that like you would a normal Ranger if you're going to be using it off-road. That's why you buy this one. It's got the bypass Fox shocks front and rear. So there's a, there's a, there's a positive. Um, I love the side steps. A lot of people don't like the side steps, but I actually like the side steps. Big metal ones. Same as what the kind of the F-150's got in America. They kind of went with the same style. Um, they just stop the rocks and stuff flicking up and hitting against the side of the car. So there's another positive. Um, coil rear rides way better than a leaf sprung setup. So that's a positive, having the coil rear with the, uh, the watts linkage in the back end. Um, big recovery points on the back of the truck on the rear bumper there. So another positive. Um, I love the flared guards on the side of the truck. They just give it that tough, looks like a bulldog the Mrs. Reckons. <laughs> it's got that tough stance about it, so there's a positive. Um, I love the grill. A quick negative, I wish they put the uh, orange amber lights on this truck. I wish they did it on the side of the flares. So just there, where am I there? And then I wish they did the three lights in the grill, the same as what the F-150's got. Um, that would have been cool. Um, another positive would be the accessories that you can get because 90% of it's the same as a normal Ranger. So like roof racks, gears, uh, like stuff for the tub, um, other parts and bits and pieces you can still put that would normally go on a normal Ranger will fit this as well. So there's a positive. Um, the interior. Love the interior, except for the con of the storage. So I'll just jump in the interior now. So the seats, love the seats. The seats are so so comfortable. So there's a positive. Got the nice embroidered Raptor in here. Um, I've done kind of a full shot of the interior in my past videos, but I like the interior. I just don't like the uh, the storage in the interior. That's a bit of a con, lack of storage. So, but um. Very nice interior, you got leather here on the doors. Um, the seats are all bolstered, so you kind of sit in them like a Sparco or a Caro. They're real, they really hug you and keep you in position, which is nice. Um, I love the steering wheel with the paddle shifters. As cool as paddle shifters are, <laughs> we d I don't use the things, so they're just, uh, they're there for looks, basically. But I'm um, like, me and the missus are only talking about it last night, we went out for dinner and um, we're driving home and this thing handles like a bloody go-kart on the road compared to the F250 because the F250 is like six inches of lift, 37s, it's got a lot of top end weight with the tent and everything on it so like it just kind of like live axle trucks kind of do tend to float down the highway when you're driving like you've got to drive the things. This thing's just like a go-kart, it's just darts in and out of traffic and you can just, yeah, it's very precise on where it wants to go. The electric steering is amazing um, compared to the old big F250 trying to turn that thing. Um, but yeah, you'd get, you'd expect that from an IFS vehicle. So, and to be honest, if you're looking to do, if you're looking to buy a Ranger and you want to do touring and all the rest of it, um, this is probably what I'd buy. Um, I'd like to see one stretched. My old Ranger, I stretched it. I'd like to see one of these stretched and have the tub modified to get that bit of extra space in the back. Like if you were to put a space cab tub um, length on this truck, obviously you still want the rear to be flared, but I think if if it could be a bit longer, it'd be a bit better so you could fit a bit more stuff in it. If you were to do like an LU cab canopy camper or something like that on the truck, that'd be cool. Just so you had a bit of extra storage. But this is probably, if you're looking to buy a Ranger, this is what I'd get. So a few people have asked me what the engine's like with the transmission, like that combination of the 2 litre and the 10 speed transmission. It's been really good. So that transmission is awesome. It's really smooth. Um, when you put it in sports mode and Baja butt, it does shift. Like it, it's aggressive in the shifting, which is, which is fun. In regards to towing, it tows really nice as well. 
no issues whatsoever. So, yeah, I just wouldn't go towing any more than like two ton, maybe 2.2. Just give yourself a buffer zone. Don't ever, don't always run on the limit of two and a half ton. Plenty more Ranger Raptor content coming on the channel. We have the other modification. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right around there somewhere. So if you can see it, comment below and let me know what you think it is. So anyway, guys, plenty more to come on the Ranger Raptor. Heaps more coming on the F250. Um, yeah, so like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you.